Hello friends. Welcome to session number 5 of chemistry. As you all know, we are started with the 7th lesson of your syllabus that is elements of group 16, 17 and 18. In the last 4 sessions, we learned about the general introduction of all the elements of group 16, 17 and 18. Their occurrence, their electronic configuration, their physical properties, as well as we learn about the periodic trends of some important properties such as atomic and ionic radii, ionization enthalpy, electronegativity, and electron gain enthalpy. We also learned about the anomalous behavior of oxygen and fluorine, that is, the first members of the 16th group family and 17th group. Now, in this session, we are going to learn about the chemical properties of elements of group 16, 17 and 18. But for that, we must know the concept of oxidation state. We know the definition. Do you remember that? Okay, we will revise. What is it? Oxidation state, it is the number assigned to an element in chemical combination which represents the number of electrons lost or gained by an atom of that element in the compound. Now, oxidation state depends upon the electronic configuration of the element and thus electronic configuration decides the chemical properties of the elements. Now we will start with the elements of group 16. Now, the general electronic configuration of 16th group elements is NS2, NP4. You know that. Now, that means there are 6 electrons in the outermost shell. You are all aware of octet rule. Do you remember that? Octet rule says that there must be 8 electrons in the outermost shell so that that element gets stability or Stable, yes, stable electronic configuration means are 8 electrons in the outermost shell. Now, as these elements of group 16 have 6 electrons in the outermost shell, that means they require only 2 electrons to achieve noble gas configuration. Now, they will attain this stable noble gas configuration either by gaining 2 electrons or by sharing 2 electrons forming 2 covalent bonds. Thus, all these elements show common oxidation state of minus 2 and plus 2 in their compounds. Now, we will see one by one. First member that is oxygen. Oxygen is highly electronegative and it does not have vacant d orbitals in its valence shell. It shows common oxidation state of minus 2 in almost all the compounds. Only exception is that oxygen difluoride where it shows oxidation state of plus 2. Why? Because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen. Hence, oxygen shows plus 2 oxidation state. And in peroxides, it shows oxidation state of minus 1 like H2O2 because hydrogen always shows plus 1 oxidation state. Now, what about the rest of the members? Rest of the members, that is sulfur, selenium, etc., they can show the positive oxidation states like plus 2, plus 4, plus 6 as well, out of which plus 4 and plus 6 are more common. The reasons are, they, when they combine with more electronegative element, they naturally will show positive oxidation state. And they have vacant d orbitals in their valence shell as well. Hence, the remaining members can show positive oxidation states of plus 4 and plus 6. Now, next group is group 17. Now, we will see the general electronic configuration. What is it? It is NS2, NP5. That means there are 7 electrons in the outermost shell. And to attain noble gas configuration, they require only one electron. How will they achieve then noble gas configuration? They will do it either by gaining one electron or by sharing one electron 
forming one covalent bond. Thus, all halogens exhibit minus one oxidation state as a common oxidation state. But along with that, they can also show variety of oxidation states. Now, chlorine, bromine, iodine can exhibit plus one, plus three, plus five, and plus seven oxidation states when they combine with fluorine. Because, again the same reason, they have empty d orbitals in their valence shell and fluorine is more electronegative than them. Thus, they can expand their octet to achieve positive oxidation states. But, when chlorine and bromine combine with oxygen, which is again more electronegative than them, then they can show plus 4 plus 6 oxidation state as well. For example, in oxoacids, oxoacids, do you know them? Chlorine shows a variety of oxoacids. Oxoacids are the acids containing oxygen in them. For example, hypochlorous acid, formula is HOCl. Chlorous acid, HOClO. In these acids, oxidation state of chlorine is plus 4 and plus 6, while Bromine also shows plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation state in its oxides, in its oxoacids. For example, bromic acid, HOBRO2, where it shows positive oxidation states. Understood? Now, we will come to fluorine. Fluorine is the only element which shows only one oxidation state and that is minus 1. Why? The reason is, it is the most electronegative element of the periodic table and second reason is it does not have vacant d orbitals in its valence shell and therefore it cannot expand its octet this question can be asked in the exam for reasoning now we will turn to group 18 elements that is noble gases now these elements have Electronic configuration NS2, NP6. That means they have 8 electrons in the outermost shell. That is, they have completely filled orbitals. Hence, this is stable valence shell electronic configuration. Now, because they have completely filled outermost shells, they don't have any tendency to gain or lose electrons. That is, they are zero valent. Hence, they mostly exist as monoatomic gases in nature. But still, there is one exception. And what is it? The xenon, almost the last member, because radon is radioactive, xenon exhibits higher oxidation states. Why? As xenon has quite large atomic size, it has very low ionization enthalpy values. It has d orbitals in its outermost shell. It has a tendency to form covalent compound showing higher oxidation states such as plus 2 in xenon difluoride XCF2. It can show plus 4 oxidation state in xenon tetrafluoride. It shows plus 6 oxidation state in xenon hexafluoride while in xenon trioxide that is XeO3 it shows plus 6 oxidation state but it is exception otherwise 18th group elements as they are called noble gases or inert gases because they have completely fulfilled outermost shells understood now now what will be the assignment for this session your question for assignment is that radon, the general electronic configuration of all the elements of group 16, 17 and 18. And one question is for reasoning. Fluorine exhibits only minus one oxidation state. Why? And one more question is that xenon exhibits positive oxidation states explain it with example 
understood so this is your assignment for this session thank you